is up beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and today as you can see from the title i am putting together my end of the year gift bags for my students and i am super excited to do so okay so before we get into that i don't want to just show you guys a little bit of the stuff that i have i do not have everything here with me i am not done going to the store i have a bunch of stuff already in my classroom so I just want to get started on the gift bags because I am giving them out Tuesday. Today is Sunday and I just need to buckle down and get to it because I have not started it yet. I was going to have some of the students help me because they're always at the school with me anyway. But I'm like, huh, while I have the time, I might as well just do it now and just get it out of the way. Okay, so if you are not sure what to do for the end of the year, this, this is just a few ideas that I have. I am currently giving away water bottles and the water bottles here it comes in two in a pack i got these from the dollar store it says tropical life it's super cute it's two in a pack i got blue pink i have red i have blue and i have like a little c bright turquoise c light blue and they all say something different like this one says summer vibes this one says, life is a beach, enjoy the waves. And this red one says, hello, sweet summer. So I, I love the fact that they all say something different. And I am gonna be filling them up with nice little goodies and fun stuff. I do have special toys for special students. So they're gonna go in their own specific bag. Um, I have candy, I have bubbles, I have juice, just a bunch of different things. Again, I'm not finished. So at the end of the video, you will see the final product. But as of right now, I'm just starting it off to see what I have to do left. I am getting putting it in these stripe bags. I thought these were very colorful, very fun for the summer. Our theme is like beachy, beachy theme. So I want it to be quite colorful, bright summer, just playful and things like that. So I got these from Five Below. So both, both of these packs were $10, $5 a piece. They come in obviously pink, blue, and green, both sets. So I thought that was a plus. And then I got these two. Again, I have a bunch of goodies and a bunch of candy and stuff in the class already, but I did grab these two here from Walmart. These are ring pops. It comes in 20, 20. I have 15 students, so that's a plus. This is 55 pieces of M&M's, M&M's, Snickers, and Twix. Obviously, I did have to get a mix of M&M's because some of the students may not be, may not like peanut, um, peanuts. They may be allergic to peanuts. I do remember hearing some of my students say that. So it's just something to remember. Um, but yeah, before we get into that, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. This is me. Tara J coming to you with the final end of the year video. Well, it's not the final video because I'll be doing summer school, so there's that. But this is the final end of the year video. What I am giving my students in their gift bags, it's part one. Okay, <laughs> so go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now. Hit the bell right next to the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I will deserve it. This is my, the best year I have ever had in my entire life, and I am. So so appreciative and I'm so happy that I was finally able to get into the classroom and be a teacher to the second grade class. Next year I will be in a different grade but stay tuned for that okay. <laughs> go ahead so go ahead go right now subscribe to my channel. I'll wait. Alright guys, so now that you have already subscribed to my channel and you got that done, got that on out of the way, you know, <laughs> let's finish going ahead and showing you guys what I got. So I have these two colorful pens. These are going to go to specific students just for special things like perfect attendance, um, the best attitude, things like that. So I'm just going to do this when I do like special awards and stuff like that. I have bubbles. I did get 15 bubbles, so everyone is gonna take home bubbles, which is amazing. I have these two stuffed animals for my, one of my favorite, favorite, I mean, granted they're all my favorite, but this one little girl, she would not be returning, she would not be returning back to our school for third grade. And 
it's very heartbreaking because we were able to open her up completely she came to our class and she was just so soft and so quiet and so shy not sure what to do with who was who so she is like the like the sunshine she's like a ray of sunshine now and it's beautiful and i just thought that this is something that she will always be able to remember us by so i got these little stuff animals so she can always know this is this is where she got these from so this is specifically for her she was actually one of the young ladies that i was going to ask to help me with this but i was like any event that i need extra help i'll just ask on monday because i just want majority of this done these are just fans that i have here i also got these from five below oh i'm sorry guys i got the, those pins from the dollar store these i got these from a dollar store i got the bubbles they come in a pack of three for a dollar i also got these from um from the dollar store as well i got these little stuffed animals from the dollar store as well and then when you when i talking about these fans they open up and you're supposed to fan them i got these from the dollar store at, i mean no i didn't get these from, i can't open it because of course it is um peeing together but as you can see it opens up and you can fan yourself summer is going to be super hot so i'm um expecting this to be used i think they're gonna love this yeah i got these i got five of these these are going to go to specific students i got these from five below and then i got these little juicy juices they were actually a a dollar surprisingly this six pack was a dollar so i got this from walmart just recently this was a come up <laughs> okay and then i have these little two roblox roblox little things they're gonna go to the same exact person this is just my this young man was probably the most effective to my life and i feel like i was the most effective to his he's so drawn to me i'm so drawn to him makes me think that's how my son is going to be in the future but you i don't know because i don't have any kids right now but i'm pretty sure <laughs> the fact that this young man is so drawn to me and i'm so drawn to him i just had to get him something special when he i know that he loves roblox so i hope he loves these i don't know what's in them and i just hope that he don't have them already and that'll be a bummer but i guess just the thought that counts the funniest thing is is that he was absent on thursday and friday right and that's how i know he, we are like super drawn to each other like teacher student things i have on top of my desk i have a bunch of different th um grades and papers that students they got 100 percent. i had them stapled at the top of my on top of my desk so, you know like the border in the classroom i have them stapled up there oh i'm sorry quick disclaimer if you hear that noise it's the air conditioner i don't want to turn it off because it would be extra hot in here so there's that but anyways i have it um <laughs> up at the top up there they're all stapled just all of the students i probably have like one or two papers up there I, i've given each student a chance to get their paper stapled up there and his paper that is the one young man that i said he's drawn to me i'm drawn to him friday he was thursday he was not there and then friday he was not there and then one of the students was like do you miss cameron do you miss cameron i was like i do i do i do <laughs> and then um i feel like later on that day his paper fell down like it was when i say it was staple up there and his paper fell down just like a ghost in the classroom it was crazy and i was like look look obviously camera misses me too so <laughs> that was it was hilarious it was just i just know that that was a sign that i don't know i just thought it was a sign from somewhere so and then um i got this cool sour patch kit from five below it has a bunch of different candies in it I'm pretty sure this is filled with Sour Patch Lose straw things. It doesn't really say how much is in here, but I just hope each kid can get, they can get one. If not, some people gonna get some, some people not. Again, I got a bunch of goodies at work, so there's that. Everybody may not get the same candy. That doesn't really matter either. And then I got this Marvel um, poster for one of my students, just special. For something special overachiever, they affected my life in some kind of way. I just, I don't know, I just never could not talk about them throughout the day or something like that. This is also another young boy. He talks about Ben 10 
to me every single day. Like, I, he loves Ben 10. He plays Ben 10 video games. I thought I was going to draw him a sketch because, of course, I'm an artist. But when I saw this in 5 below, I was like, oh, yeah, this is it. So, <laughs> I'm going to, I do have to take the, the price tag off of this joint. But, yeah, this is specifically for the student. He's a, an excellent student, straight A student. Always has, um good grades his behavior most of the time is always great he's still growing up learning himself he's bright and excellent overachiever it was a struggle for him when he first transitioned into the classroom from um you know because some students were remote and online then he had to go back online and he had to come back into the classroom it was just a lot so i thought that ever since then and now the end of the year it's been um a difference has been made so i thought that this is something that he deserves this is specifically his and i got this for him and i think he'll love it okay i know he'll love it because he talks about ben tennyson we had on end day if you watch my um teacher diary videos we had end day and end day was like make a new name and um new name so we all were name tags and we had to call each other by our new name that whole entire day so like my name, my name was Miss Beyonce. This student here, his name was Ben Tennyson. Like I'm not even lying. Like I had to say that whole thing all day and it was blowing my mind, but it was cool. Another student of mine, he is very, what's the word to call him? Very specific, scientific, educational, just super, super bright. But he seems to always have, I will say he doesn't seem to have something every time so, um, when we when we have show and tell or when we bring toys or when we bring something, it always breaks my heart that he doesn't really seem to have anything to bring to class or maybe he forgets or something like that. But when I saw this, I instantly thought of him because it's something that you can play with with other kids. But it's also something that you can also play with yourself. It's like a transformer kind of thing. So it gets big, it's bright, and it's noticeable that other kids will want to play with. But it also gets small like this. So yeah, it's like a transformer. I thought this was super perfect for him. And I'm pretty sure that he will love it. He's just a different kind of kid. It's, like, it's a spaceship from vehicle to robot. So yeah, long story short, transformers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They always try to make, uh, mess up stuff and change it up. But they're Legos, though. So it's 169 pieces, which is perfect because he'll have to put them all together. And then when you put them all together, they'll become Transformers. Oh, and then it comes with, like, a remote. So if it's a car, you can drive out. This is cool. I think it comes with a remote. It does something. This is cool. It looks cool. I hope he likes it. I'm sure he will. It's, it's, I feel like it's about the adult that matters. So, yeah. This is specifically for that this guy as well. But, yeah. That is that. That is everything that I have right now at this very moment. I do have to get one young lady something. And I think that will be everything. I do believe that's everything. She's begging for a LOL. She's one of my favorite girls. But <laughs> that's that. And um, yeah, so let's get to it, guys. Love the fact that these come in two in a, two of these. I'm trying to figure out what is best. Maybe I should put the cups in the bowls the cups in the, the bags first. I don't know. I really don't want the straws to sit on the floor. See? They come in a set of two, which is cool. My sister just texted me. I don't know what she says, but I'm not going to be able to see it until later. So I can finish doing this video so it doesn't take me all day. This has been like literally sitting in my car for like the longest amount of time. I'm not even lying. Like I've got these cups 
when the they first hit the dollar store. Like, if you don't be in a dollar store, you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm literally in love with the dollar store. I think all teachers are. So, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, and you can relate. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up on this video, because honey, honey, you don't realize how much money you spend until the end of the year. So cute. So, what I'm gonna do is just lay out these, um, I wanted to get sunglasses, but I was just like, I don't know how they gonna like that. Like, they do have, they have these packs um, of sunglasses. It was like a, a 10 pack or something. But then when I saw them, I was like, are these even big enough? They just seem so small. Like it says three years old plus but you know like something that a three-year-old can wear uh eight and nine-year-old can't wear they they faces they got a little wide and mature and grown up so it's like i looked at that and i was like mm, i'm not too sure if that's the move then some of them probably could fit it i'm not even oh <laughs> i'm looking at these cups like wait a minute hold on <laughs> I thought I had 16 cups, but clearly I do got 16 cups. The other ones are over there. But I was just freaking out because I just thought that these are all the cups I had. So I was like, I just messed up because the last time I was in Dallas, so I didn't see none of these cups. And I didn't know what I was going to do if I would have had to go back to the Dallas stuff. <laughs> I was going to figure it out, though. One thing teachers are good at is improvising. I'm just gonna take this tape off of here. I wanna write their names on the back of it too, but I'm probably gonna do it when it's like filled up. So I don't gotta worry about it falling over or anything like that. Two, four, six, eight. Eight down, eight more to go. Let me get the rest of them so I can just fill it up all at the same exact time. Sloppy. Oh, it didn't look sloppy. It just didn't look full. And I wanted to look full and thick. So why does somebody keep calling me? Like somebody's calling me now. I'm just gonna have to call them back. So this is what the final look looks like. I filled it up as much as I can with candy. And the bubbles is also in here. If you can see it. And then I was able to close the top. So I really like the fact that I was able to close the top. That's very important to me. I didn't want it to be sitting inside of the cup. I mean, sitting inside of the bag just so frilly, willy nilly. And then I'm just gonna put these juicy juices inside of the bag with it. So that's a plus. And then I think I wanna call it a day. I can't really, I do have certificates to give them. I do have small little 
knickknacks to give them as well, like pencils, color from um, a coloring book, um, pencils, erasers, little journals, things like that I'm gonna toss in everyone's bag. And yeah, I think that is everything that I need. I don't have it here, so you'll see the finishing product later on down the line when I finish up this video. And yeah, <laughs> let me go ahead and show you guys how I did it. So what I did was, I just took a handful of candy, none no specific ones, and put as much as I can inside of the, of the cup, just like that. And then I brought it around just so I can um, have the cup in the middle. I mean, not the cup, <laughs> the straw in the middle, like such. And then put the top, grab the top, and closed it. Voila! Stuffed it as much as I can, including the bubbles on the inside of it as well. It would have been cool if I was able to drop that little juicy juice inside of the cup as well. But I could not. I did try either. But I also didn't want to bust it with trying to do the most with it. So I, of course, I just left it as is. Yes. And then I'm just going to throw them in here. So I'm going to set these bags up because these are going to be my to-go bags. To put their names on it i'm wondering if i should do that but then again no i'm not gonna do it well i said i wasn't gonna do it because it doesn't really matter but then again some people got special things that aren't going in their bags some people don't have things that other people have but we'll see i'm just gonna start stuffing it for right now I need everybody to have a juice, everybody to have a cup. Make sure it's tight, make sure it pops. That is three for three. Everybody have a juice, everybody have a cup. more to put in them but as of right now i think i'm gonna stop and then touch bases again with you guys tomorrow you guys can't even see me as of right now i think i'm gonna stop and touch bases with you guys tomorrow because i don't have everything i need and then i'm not sure if i want to put those special gifts inside of the bags just yet because Tomorrow is supposed to be X day, which is exchange gifts day. And I'm wondering if I should just give them those gifts 
tomorrow and then do the gift bags for our party day or just do them both at the same exact time i don't really know so i'm just gonna see where it goes okay i'll let you guys know what I end up doing, I'm going to bounce back with you guys. I'm probably not going to be looking as cute as I look now, but you know, <laughs> no big deal. But yeah, let's check it out, guys. Let's check it out. So like I said, I do have certificates to put in here. I do have coloring books, pencils, erasers, things like that to drop in the bags as well. Little notebooks for the summer is to talk like a little journal and things like that they're going to take home their in-class journals they're going to take home their sketchbooks everything that they may have had that i have given them that they still have in the classroom they're going to go ahead and be able to take that back but this is the starter so if i ever decide to put their names on it i'll definitely show you guys that as well but until then guys much love beautiful people all right guys so here is the coloring books one is the coloring book the other one is just a book that teaches you how to draw it is like step by steps on drawing that is for the boys um another thing is that if you hear my voice and it sounds a little raspy i do believe i recently lost my voice and it, it's just like i'm trying to i'm trying not to drain it so much but it is a little raspy right now but besides the coloring books, I have pencils and pens and erasers and more pencils and then more candy to put into the box, their bags, as you can see. And here is the final look at the gift bags. There's cookies, there's chalk, there's a goodie cup that you guys saw me make earlier in the video. They have um, juicy juices, their coloring books, their little pens little notebooks all of oh, the above it's a pretty 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 pretty, pretty pretty dope bag if you I ask me and i think they enjoyed it we had an end of the year party and yeah so i hope you guys got some ideas yeah, from this. what to do for the end of the and year and party so for your students well, again this is my first year teaching in second grade class and I had a wonderful, wonderful year. Stay tuned for my thoughts. Oh, I got this boy a poster from Marvel. I got it from Five Below. So I did end up just putting their special gifts, the individualized gifts in their bags. But guys, that is that. Like I said, of course, I'm Tara J. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.